In this video, we're going to go through a second hidden quadratic question. So, this is the equation that we're going to start with. 2 to the 2x plus 4 times 2 to the 2x, 4 times 2 to the x, sorry, take away 5 is 0. So, the first step, as it was in the previous video, said that, well, I could write 2 to the 2x as 2 to the x squared. And from there, we can then make a substitution. So in this case, let y be 2 to the x. So I'm going to get y squared plus 4 lots of 2 to the x, which is 4y, take away 5 is 0. This is a quadratic that can be factorised. So I'm going to get y plus 5 and y minus 1 is 0. So if I now put the 2y equals 2 to the x back in, I get 2 to the x plus 5 times 2 to the x minus 1 is 0. So that would mean that either 2 to the x plus 5 is 0, or 2 to the x minus 1 is 0. So 2 to the x equals minus 5, or 2 to the x equals 1. Well, 2 to the x equals 1, if we start with this one, that's quite straightforward, because that would mean that x equals 0, because we know that all numbers to the power of 0, bar 0 itself, is uh, 1. Actually, I might have to check if 0 to the 0 is still 1. I think it is. Um, and then 2 to the x equals minus 5. Let's deal with that problem. Now, we've got to think about this logically. You could try any value of x you like, be it 100, minus 100, minus 1,000, minus 0 0.2, whatever. Whatever number you put in, 2 to that power, will never be negative. This is because that 2 to the x is a curve that looks something like this. Going through 1 on the y-axis, because 2 to the 0 is 1, and... As you can see, that after, uh, on the right-hand side of the x-axis, the graph increases exponentially. But on the left-hand side, it is getting closer and closer and closer to zero. Okay, uh, but never reaching it. And so, if I'm asking myself, well, where does it intersect this line? Y equals minus five. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't intersect it whatsoever. And so, there are no solutions to this equation. And so the only solution to the original problem is x equals 0, which kind of makes sense because you would have 2 to the 0, which is 1, plus 4, take away 5, is 0. Okay, so you can clearly see that that one works. But this is a case of no solutions and you must be able to identify that. 